Hi guys and welcome to your October 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading bonus first half of the month for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the Tribe and what's good, fam, bam. So hello to my members, my patrons, my coffee club members. Hello, hello. Hello, Libra. So we went um, live the other night. We had a good time. Um, in the energy of your new moon. So thank you so much for everybody who um, showed up and participated in that. There was an additional message for you guys. Um, and that is available on SoundCloud. By the time this video is uploaded, all of those uh, will be done. Um, that's where your um, additional information is going to go. If you happen to be on the website, those are going to be linked. So you can go and listen to um, that information over there. Um, it's just a better way for you to be able to listen. And it was just time that I utilized that. So, um, yes, I do have a TikTok account. Um, not really doing too much uploading over there, but I know you guys have been asking me. So I am going to get better about putting those profiles in the description box. Um, I should do that. I'm probably just going to link it on my link tree just so because there's one master link for all of my um, my socials because there's just too many. OK, so um, right now, um, personal readings are open if that's what you're interested um, in, as well as texting a question up above. Um, I do that just so you see if you're interested in purchasing um, a water bottle at the coldest That information is also on my website now when you're going over there to book your readings just to make it easier for you if you're not um, reading in the actual description box or going down there please be advised that those links are below in the description you can go ahead and check out the 32 ounce water bottle over there um, this is what I have and um, it is a beautiful um, water bottle it will keep your beverages cold for 36 hours plus I do have the uh, 24 ounce insulated coffee mug that keeps your beverages hot for 12 hours plus okay if you're interested in doing that the links are below at the top of the description the first one will lead you back over to the coldestwater.com and you can instantly start shopping you do not need to log in if you follow that link please go ahead in the description and go and check that link out if you do decide to purchase what i would love for you to do is to put readings in your checkout to entitle and you're going to be entitled to 10 percent off of your purchase there is an additional incentive if you do purchase and that information is at my website as well if you're interested in just giving it a whirl and you want to go over there and test out some things or you don't want to necessarily pay for anything then we do do weekly giveaways go ahead and enter in your information to win a free bottle okay um a few more things your energy reading for the month is linked below as well libra collective and one more thing um uh the Taurus uh, Collective did win for um, Messy Mondays. We did not go live this particular Monday. We will resume. And after that, you will get your link for to vote on the next one. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be looking at your romantic intentions right now for the first half of October. Uh, some of you I have already read you. Um, so it's very, very interesting how some of that energy did come out today. So let's go ahead and do that. So first and foremost, we start off with deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. That is what we see. So this is what's going on. Your person is not telling you everything that they feel about you, which could be good or bad. Let's allow the cards to lead us what to what they're not telling you. There are children here. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't know whether this resonates with you yet as with children that you guys have to blend together um, or whether there is an upcoming pregnancy. OK, in the heart place, your person is feeling the following playfulness. So they want to recapture romance and they want to allow their inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this person can be obviously an adult that just has a um, child at heart um, like a way about them, which is what it seems like you're connecting with. And that can either be good or bad, Libra, depending on, you know, how well you operate in this 
type of um, temperament, okay? We also have past life relationships, so you're being guided to know that you've been here before and that this relationship or connection um, that you have with this person does define logic. And we do have keep an open mind as the next card. I know that you guys have experienced some issues, obviously, because um, your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations it has, is what has come out. And it seems that there has been some difficulties or some differences uh, between you two uh, with regards to temperament or communication. And they're really holding on to keeping an open mind and looking at these differences in a way where they won't look at them as negative, but more so look at them in a positive light. Okay, that's that. And what is this? on my shea butter that's on my arm okay so then we also have reconciliation so someone from the past is returning to your life now i want you guys libra collective to be able to discern whether this is the current person that loves you that you have an off and on connection with or whether this is a past person i'm really feeling like this is a past life relationship and that, that, that this person that whose feelings I'm reading today is a person that actively talks to you, that actively loves you, that actively gets on your nerves, whatever you want to discern it and however you want to put it. I feel like the reconciliation, that's what this person wants with you. Okay, Libra. And then finally, we do have, um, they want to come back. And I'm seeing that there's been, just been a lot of differences. Um, it could be. Um, that this individual, ah, religious factors, your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, um, some of you, it is definitely religion based. I felt that this time, typically I will give you how I'm feeling about the situation and what exactly I'm feeling, whether it is religion specifically or whether it's just in, you know, a difference in, um, all of the rest of the things that is being outlined in the card. I'm really feeling religion this time, or, um, I'm feeling more so I don't, and I, and I normally see it, but I'm feeling that the upbringing, um, is really also playing a part. Um, and I tell you guys all the time, um, a part of loving someone is accepting their path. And a part of loving yourself is accepting that if that path causes you detriment, when it is time for you to walk away. So let's go ahead and get two cards that represent your energy romantically, and we will clarify all. So you currently feel like you know that this is your person, Libra Collective, and that divine timing is at work in your love life and this is your confirmation that this person is worth waiting for how you come to that conclusion or how you came to that conclusion is not my business this is definitely outlining to me that you guys and you have a spirit you have a you have a relationship with your spirit guides right now and you know without a doubt that there's something bigger than you working and that you are okay with doing what it needs to what what needs to be done in order for this person to come in now once we clarify this with the marvelous truth oracle that's going to give me a little bit more but intuitively i am feeling this a split bag i'm just going to put it out there i feel like 50 percent of you know that there's something bigger working in your favor and 50 percent of you is actually you've actually found your person okay now let's find out what else you feel what else do we have for libra the libra collective we do have give your relationship a chance so that lets me know that a good majority of you wants to give this specific relationship a chance and work on your partnership and that has confirmed for me that the majority of you feels like this particular relationship is worth waiting for and there we have it okay um let's go ahead and go in with marvelous truth oracle and get everything clarified and find out where we are so just a recap of your person's Romantic energy, we have deception, children, playfulness, past life relationship, keep an open mind, reconciliation, and religious factors. 
Um, this person, the very first thing that pops into my intuition as soon as I saw that is it's not necessarily that they're deceiving you from a standpoint of third party energy, but a deception in a way where they're not letting you know how much you actually mean to them. Um, and let's find out whether, you know, what that is and get some clarification going. All right. So we're going to go ahead and clarify deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask. And that is being clarified by balance. Life is a balanced system of learning and evolution. Whether pleasure or pain, every situation in your life serves a purpose. It is up to you or it's up to us to recognize what that pur purpose could be. So right now, they understand that there is a reason why you were sent into their life. They are starting to gain a, um, a understanding, so to speak, of why you're here. They don't actually know exactly what they feel like. There are differences and things that make you different, Libra, but there is such a love and connection and they're, they're awakening to just what that is. All right. So for some of you guys, they're not telling you, but they're praying that you guys have children. Um, I believe that you represent something that is in their life that has uh, been lacking, Again, I feel like this children card lets me know that if this is, and I instantly got that this was a child, especially with this playfulness, this person is kind of childlike in their communications and the way, and they express their emotions in a very, in a very playful type of way. So Libra Collective, this means to me that they wanted someone that kind of mimicked the love that they lost, as well as understanding that you bring an element of parental, um, a parental element to the life that to their lives with their relationship or within relationship to their their children um, that has just made something very stable or. Um, they're, they don't have any kids and they're watching you take care of your children and it kind of fills a void within them of the, the, um, the, the, the actual parental care that they did not get as a child. That's a thing. And sometimes a person can recognize that in you as a trait. And that could f make you feel like you've had to kind of mother this person or father this person um, for my Libra masculines. Okay. Clarify playfulness in the heart place, please. Playfulness is joy. So they enjoy and um, obviously playing with you. Um, there's something in your mannerisms. There's something in the way that you carry yourself, Libra Collective, that really sings to this person. Um, they love to bother you. They get a kick out of your um, a kick out of your responses, your reactions, and you bring and have brought a lot of joy into their life. Um, past life relationship is being clarified by ah that makes complete sense the solar plexus chakra this is their wisdom and their power when again the chakras come out in my deck we affirm okay so a lot of the things that is highlighted in the solar plexus chakra card is about the wisdom and power um, and this past life relationship, again, I have already mentioned that they are awakening, um, to the power of this relationship and into their connection with you. I love and accept my house. I feel authentic. I feel my own power. I am free to choose it in any situation. I direct my own life. It also feels like a person who is married to their family. Um, and is finding it very difficult to incorporate another individual into the family. Um, you could be dealing with a life path three because that's very life path three type situations, um, but not specific to that life path. Okay. Keep an open mind. Um, there's obviously been some differences about you, um, Libra Collective, and you obviously may differ from the usual women or man that this particular person has dealt with. And 
um, they're at peace with that. They're coming to grips with that again. A lot of awakening, a lot of transformation, a lot of um, information that they're getting downloads, direct information from spirit. They don't even know where this information is coming from to confirm exactly who you are and why you are here. So they're keeping an open mind and they're at peace with that because I believe that the information that they used to receive uh, was very confusion, very confusing, and they could not differentiate from the issues that you were having um, and the differences. They couldn't differentiate from the joy, peace, and happiness now that they received from you with you being so different. They had never experienced this level of peace, joy, and happiness with an individual who did not meet the normal type of woman or man that they were used to. And let's face it, we fear what we don't understand. Happiness is clarifying my reconciliation. It would make this person very happy if you guys obviously did um, reconcile. And if that's being reevaluated right now because Mercury is in retrograde. So right now, this is what they're awakening to. And yes, when the planet finally is at its full, full capacity, they may come back to take action on this. I know that they are afraid because I know what's underneath here. So until you actually watch the main video, we won't know yet. Okay. Religious factors is being clarified by the throat chakra. And it's funny that I just said this because this is exactly what they are doing. Um, they have an issue with communication. Um, I don't know whether you are dealing with a person whose communication is in detriment or this person just does not have the right words to say to you. Again, when we get a chakra card in my deck, we affirm. So this is what they have been deceiving you about. I know that they have not told you how they feel and they're trying to balance out learning and evolution to make sure that when they come to you and express themselves, that they they will feel very confident about what they are communicating. And when they believe it and they have learned and evolved, no longer will they find themselves being blocked in this way. So their wisdom and power right now is blocked as well as their throat chakra, which is their communication. We affirm the following. I am open and honest in my communication. I have a right to speak my truth. OK, I live an authentic life. I nourish my creative self expression and I know when to listen. This person is going to come to you with um, not only talking about the differences, but talking um, about these differences in a way that is going to now pull you guys closer because you will start to feel like you are playing on the same team uh, opposed to using the religious factors or the differences between you guys in the way that kept you in opposition. All right, Libra, we're going to go ahead and clarify your information and worth waiting for is being clarified by connection. Of course, you realize that this is a real connection and you are struggling or have struggled co um, collectively because you recognize this connection and you do not want to let it go because it is something otherworldly for you. Um, and, you know, although you don't like the idea of necessarily putting your life on hold, if you truly knew what divine time it was, you would not feel that way. OK, um, so I see that you are definitely understanding the connection a little bit more. And finally, give your relationship a chance is grace. And um, yes, you know, grace is grace. And at the end of the day, this is very important. You know, you really want to work on the partnership. You've realized that there has been some things in your evolution that are just starting to blossom as well. So you kind of feel like this is a grace period for the both of you guys to really work on yourselves because you know that when you do come back together, um, you both are going to be spiritually evolved the way that you want and you can finally now be a part of the same team. I truly feel like that is what this is about. A lot of key words here. OK, a lot of key words. Um, but I definitely see that this is going to evolve the way that we need it to. So um, right now, you they are praying for the joy, peace and happiness that you bring. They do not 
want to lose this connection with you at all. And they are, um, you know, it behind the scenes working on how they are going to come back. It will be, you will make them the happiest person alive if they're able to reconcile. Um, and you're going to get all of the answers that, okay, that you have been seeking. Um, so I love this. If you're interested in a personal read and go ahead and book, the information is below. If you're interested alternatively in a question, um, the question, um, you can text a question at the top, um, one question for 1111. You will get your or receive your answer within 24 hours. And that is that. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Please go check out the code, thiswaterbottle.com, and I will see you in the main video. Bye, Libra.